Hello, my name is Stefan. I'm a PM on the remote desktop services team. And what I would like to show you today is my Windows Virtual Desktop environment where I have provisioned two session hosts. Those uh, session hosts are configured with FSLogic profiles to allow for roaming users. And I have an Azure file as the location where my profiles are being stored. The first thing I would like to show you is the Azure portal. And I've already logged in as an administrator. I'm going to go to storage accounts. I'm going to select the one particular storage account that's for my environment. Here I'm going to navigate to files. I'm going to open the share profiles. And here you can see that uh, WVD user 002 already has a profile. Here is the VHD. Now we're going to go ahead and connect with a different user called Alex Wilbur. So let's go ahead and do that. I have opened the HTML5 client here. I have signed in as Alex Wilbert, and now I'm going to move ahead and establish a session. It's asking me for the credentials. Let's provide those. So now the Windows Virtual Desktop Brokering Service is establishing a connection to my session host. You can see that the FSLogic app service is being called to create my profile. And now the Windows User Profile Service is mounting that profile and it's preparing my session. Um, this is something that happens the very first time when a session is established. And the sequential times this will be there for us. Excellent. So we have our full remote desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and create two files on the desktop that are going to mimic the behavior of the user working in our environment and create some, some random content. Then the other thing I would like to see, since I have two session hosts in my environment, I would like to see which one I'm connected to. And to do that, I'm going to use computer name. So we are on F AF1. So let's name this file to AF-1. And the other thing I would like to see is my IP address. And that will be 10, 3, 4, 6. Excellent. OK, my user has established a session. He has created a few files. Now, if everything ha has worked as expected, this user should have received a profile from FSLogic. To do that, I'm going to go in, back into the Azure portal and show you the storage account. So let's minimize. Here I'm back in my storage account. We'll select the same. I'm going to open Files, Profiles. And here you can see that now there is a folder for Alex Wilbur that wasn't there previously. So what we're going to do now is let's go inside and observe the folder and yeah you can see here that we have a profile for Alex Wilbur excellent now let's test the roaming feature to do that what we're gonna do is we are gonna disconnect that user and we will have him connect to the other VM in our host pool and we will do that by forcing the VM in a state that does not allow new connection or what we call a, a drain mode. I will do that here. So this is the session host itself. I'm connected as an admin. I'm going to sign off the user. As you can see, it's, he's been signed out. And uh, no surprise, if you go into the HTML5 client, the session will have been Ended. And here you can see the session has been ended. Okay, that's exactly what we expected. I don't want to reconnect right now. What I would like to do is prior to reconnecting is go ahead and put that session host in a mode that's not going to allow the new session. I'm going to do that through our management UI. Here I am in the management UI. I'm going to select FA1, which is the session host where my session was. 
I'm going to click edit and I'm going to say do not allow new sessions. I'm going to update that and then I'm going to go to the other session host FA0, the one we were not connected to and I'm going to tell him you can now accept sessions and I'm doing that just to showcase you to showcase how um, how the behavior is going to be if something happens to the VM it's either unavailable or there are too many users it's already meeting the requirement but the profile and the user data migrates with us okay so the session has been um, sorry the session has been allowed on FA0 let's go ahead and establish a new connection as our user Alex Wilbur to do that we'll go back to the HTML5 client and here we will establish a new session by again clicking on the desktop and providing the credentials. Okay, we are gonna hit submit. At this point, Windows Virtual Desktop is providing a new session for my user, and the expectation is that that is gonna be on the new session host. And you can see my files are here. Excellent, that's what we expected. Now, to really prove that this worked, we should come here and issue the same commandlets that we issued before. Computer name. And you can see that this time the computer name is FA0, as expected. And the IP address is um, 4.5, and while in the previous one it ended on 4.6. So this is a perfect example of how my session got thrown between FA1 to FA0 and my data was persisted. And that's all. Thank you.